Hello and welcome to Simon Tech Notes. My name is Christian and I'm part of the technical support team here. In this video, we will be going over how to display your data historically on a trend graph with an ultimate access. For starters, I'm going to open up the Simon D application, that is the Simon Designer application. I'm going to create some tags, go, go over the tag database, make four analog tags, one, two, three, four. And then I have to also add the logging function and unless I don't want to use the control feature part of the trend. So I do want to use it. So I'm going to activate the data logging. And then a further step you have to do is make your own data logging model. So click on the little folder icon, name it, choose a location to save, press OK. This information isn't really relevant. It just lets you use the control part of the trend graph. You don't actually need to utilize this data logging model. But it's there if you do want to use it. Exit out, and then I'm gonna to go to the script and show you what script I'll be using for this demo. So I chose sub main because this script will start running upon initialization of the project itself. It doesn't require a push button to start it or anything. This will be a randomizing script, so it will randomize the tags one through four, um, between zero and 300. It will sleep for 800 milliseconds, and it will continuously do this because of while one until we shut down the project. In order to get these trend graphs to pop up, go over to the draw drop down, click on trend, click anywhere on the canvas. You can name it whatever you want. You can choose a max trend time. I chose 30 seconds for both of these. The sampling time to be one second. The YT trend type will be the one on the left, which will be a conglomerate. It will show all the tags in a chaotic mess of all of them together. And on the right side, we'll see the cleaner version, the multiple, where it will separate them into individual rows so you can see them better. I'm gonna exit out and go over to the actual configuration. So I left everything default, so white and black, and then no line, no style color, or no style trend. And then the same thing for the trend area style, nothing, or the style will be a line style, black on black. And then these are the tr tags that I will be dealing with, red, green, blue, light purple, tag one through four. Make sure that you name a min and a max. If you don't, the, the tag will not graph on the trend. And I did that for each of these tags, zero to 300, because we're randomizing between zero and 300. You can have up to a max of 16 tags per trend. You can display the toolbar if you want. I chose to display the toolbar. That is what this is right here. If I uncheck that, this will disappear. I can show a legend if I want to. I can choose how I want to print the document. I can have a header and a footer if I want. I can show the X and Y axis grid. I can show the X and Y axis ruler. I can show the Y axis legend, and I can also show the X axis legend if I want. I'm gonna be showing all of this because it's activated by default. I'm gonna press OK. Nothing has changed between these graphs. I'm gonna go ahead and run my project so we can see what is really going on behind the scenes. So knowing that we picked the 30 second interval, this should graph pretty quickly. The left side will look more messy than the right side. As we said, the right side is a multiple. So notice how this is a much cleaner version. I can look at them individually. You can pause the graph if you want using the control button here and we can back up or we can go forward or I can continue by pressing real time trend again. I can show the base pin, I can change it from red to green to blue to purple, showing which one I'm actually dealing with. So I can change it to blue, I can change it to purple and change it back to red again. I can zoom in or I can zoom out and look at the trend graph that way. I can resume and then the chaotic mess will arrive back. I can also set the min and max for certain values if I need to change them. I can set it to go from left to right or from right to left, whatever have you. And then I can also show a historian trend. I'm just gonna have it go for the sake of this demo. And then on the right side, the same applications persist over here with the added benefit of it being cleaner. That is it for this video. Thank you for viewing.